issue of xenophobia, which is uh, a very topical issue uh, for us here in this country, uh, and in particular with regards to South Africa. Uh, because of the situation there, I went personally to South Africa, met with the Minister of Foreign Affairs uh, there, met with the Union, uh, or Nigerian Union of South Africa, went to view some of the places that had been burnt at that time during the last xenophobic attacks, met with the High Commissioner there, met with the Consul General, and what I saw immediately, uh, Your Excellencies, uh, was that there was a trust deficit between the South African police and Nigerians. And the, the, the Union, Nigerian Union of South Africa also explained to me that this was a big challenge. So in the meeting that we had, the Minister of Foreign Affairs with the head of the police and uh, their Minister of Interior, I proposed to them that we have an early warning mechanism that we should set up and that this would essentially be a confidence building. The idea is to build confidence and to ensure that the Nigerians in South Africa can talk directly with the highest levels of government in South Africa, including the police, to build confidence and to start to address this issue. Um, Your Excellency, the MOU that we wanted to sign uh, has not yet been signed, but one thing I can say uh, is that the South African government itself uh, is not in any way complicit uh, in some of the attacks suffered by Nigerians uh, in South Africa and are ready to cooperate to address this. Our refineries are at least 50 years old and any property or any vehicle or vessel or machine that has 50 years lifespan, has lasted of 50 years, requires to be refurbished regularly there are standards for required because turnaround maintenances. We have not done turnaround maintenances for a long time. The only one we did, we gave, it's like giving your Mercedes-Benz car to a motorcycle mechanic to service. You, you know what you get. That's what we did only once. So the, the turnaround requirement, the refineries require that we do turnaround and maintenance every two years. If you don't do that, you're not going to have maximum product from your refineries. So our refineries are old and indeed obsolete. However, Refineries like refineries in India and Brazil are 70 years old. They last 70 years because they are periodically maintained. We have refused to maintain ours, so we are in that predicament. The truth is Nigeria is a federation, and I'm a federalist. You see, there is a limit to what we can do on taxation in the federation. Let's be clear on that. However, I understand where you are coming from and I agree with you, but I will differ slightly. I wouldn't have loved to go into this because it's going to be controversial. We have left the rich men in Nigeria without discharging their responsibilities for the citizens, particularly on taxation. 